Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 here. We got mid-afternoon, October the 15th. And remember when I did a video, gosh, maybe two or three days ago when I said that, uh, you know, China's having its um, congressional meeting that meets every so often that starts Wednesday of this week. And I kind of thought that maybe they would have like a trick up their sleeve as far as changing or softening their position on cryptos or Bitcoin or the exchanges. So get a load of this news from Crypto Coin News. Basically, the Bank of China, their digital currency chief wants a state cryptocurrency. Yes, you heard me correct. So the head of the People's Bank of China, PBOC, Digital Currency Research Institute has called for the Chinese Central Bank to adopt a government cryptocurrency to help bring stability to its fiat currency. As reported by regional news source, YIC, Institute Director Yao Quinn discussed the potential benefits of a government cryptocurrency at an international telecommunications union meeting this week. You know what? I think Putin's going to come out pretty soon and say the same thing and all the other countries and their central banks that were poo-pooing Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Um... But here's what he had to say, the negative, no, the effective negative interest rate policy in the legal digital currency environment will make it possible that the central bank may no longer need to set the inflation rate buffer. From this point of view, the legal digital currency or help to improve the value of the legal currency stability. So they're saying that this is unbelievable. I can't believe all this stuff happens in a matter of a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or a month or two. Um, and it changes daily. This crypto news and cryptocurrency adoption is just getting better and better and better and better and better. As CNN has reported, China has taken a hardline stance against Bitcoin. That's going to change. And other decentralized cryptocurrencies, that's going to change arguing that they have no inherent value and are being used by criminals to launder money, commit fraud, and subvert financial regulations. Well, maybe a little bit, but like I've said before, not as much as what people think. On this pretense, the Bank of China prohibited the initial coin offering fundraising model, as well as domestic cryptocurrency trading. They're softening up. The government and their central bank is softening up. Friends, it doesn't get any better than this. The digital currency chief calls for a state currency. Hope you enjoyed this news blast. Give me a thumbs up. Hope you're having a good day. I got to go watch some football, but I'll be back at you. Appreciate everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.